What's up y'all? It's 6.30 in the morning in San Diego and this is the 630 Every Journey. Now, this thing is actually set up quite ergonomic where my shoulders and butt is. It also has very laid back style. And it's way more of a workhorse than I thought it was going to be. It's also a solid economic option when you compare it to others. This thing actually has a lot of bang for the buck. And like I said, it's a lot more useful than I thought it was going to be. I ended up using it for surfing, take my daughter to the park all the time. It's really easy to get a little kid's chair on the back. But you've got to get it set up for you. Now, it's a cruiser, so it has this really laid back style. But that doesn't mean it's not super useful. One of the things you learn real quick is this thing is basically it's just a motorcycle. It's a motorcycle that doesn't make any noise like a motorcycle. It isn't super heavy. You can get on it and pedal it just like a bike. It doesn't look weird. And this black on black version that they sent me is just so slick in that beach cruiser style. It's a beach cruiser, but it's really comfortable because you've got this massive cushy seat here, but also the way that the post is set up with the handlebars, it's set up to be bit more ergonomic. Okay, let's head back to the studio and I'll show you some of the details. Okay, here she is, the 630 Every Journey. At the time of recording, this one with the 500 watt battery comes in around $1,800. Now, these guys sent this out to me because my dad actually is helping them with marketing stuff. He's like, hey, Tiger, uh, I got this really great guy. He's got a good bike company. I think you'd really dig it. They're disrupting the marketplace. They customize the bike to fit your body because not all bodies are the same. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> That's my father. It's a seven speed Ergo Cruiser hybrid bike with about 20 miles of range, 15 to 18 miles per hour top speed. They got free shipping, a 90 day test ride, and a one year warranty on these things. And I think depending on where you live, they'll include having a tech, you know, check it out, make sure that it fits perfectly for you. They'll have, they have a tech put it together for you. Cause there is quite a bit to kind of like put together. I put it together the first time and I, and I kind of messed up the brakes a little bit. They had a little squeak going. So through them, I got in touch with the bike tech and fixed it all up. It's got a 500 watt rear hub motor and you can use it via pedal assist or the full motor drive with the thumb control or turn it off completely. Now you also have five drive speeds on this little reader right here. You can just choose one through five here and turn that off with that little M button. Power switch is back here on the back of the bike and you have a charging little port right here and a, a lock. You can lock this battery in place. I have loved using this because you've got this nice little tray back here. I throw my, my daughter's child seat on there. I put a bunch of like gear when we're going down to the beach on here. This lock obviously doesn't come with it, but I like the sort of murdered out vibe with this kryptonite. I'll link to this one below. Now this whole having a motor on your bike thing is actually kind of wild. It made me ride my bike a lot more than I was previously. Well, partly because I was testing it out and because it's like such a cool little cruiser, but it's quiet. It helps when you're going up the big hills. So if you live in anywhere hilly, this helps equalize all that stuff. And it's just like nice when you're feeling lazy. And of course you can always like, you know, turn off the motor, but like the motor's there. Like, am I really going to turn it off? So it's a 500 watt hour battery. It's a lithium ion battery, 48 volt, 10.4 ampere hours. You've got about a 20 mile range on this thing with just the battery and then say like 20 to 40 miles with uh, pedal assist on. Now they say it holds its charge for three to four weeks and that you want to charge it to 100% every time after you use it. And then I think the best case scenario is you don't leave it plugged in. My experience with the battery and the motor have all been great. I, it's just, it's a delight. You get that, you get that push when you're just using the thumb throttle and you get that support when you're using just the pedal assist. This is a seven speed Shimano tourney, tourney derailleur. This is a Shimano index Revo shifter, Revo. These are front and rear cable driven disc brakes. These are handles for the disc brake that are very handily. This little fender guy helps me keep all of the, the road dirts off my beautiful 
tight jeans. Now it's an aluminum frame and it's set up for an ergonomic riding style so that you're laid back, sort of cruiser vibes, but you've got good leg extension and it's easy to step off the bike. And like I said, it's got that extra wide saddle, which helps for that upright stance. It feels good, it's cushy. You like it. The tires on this one are 26 inch wheels with two inch semi-slick tires. They're smooth enough and they're black walled. Hi. These handles have a synthetic leather and they've got a little bit of cushiness to them. They're, they're nice. Now for all you family folks, can you take this thing on like a bike rack on the back of your car as you go up to Yosemite and <laughs> like cruise around the valley? It weighs about 70 pounds with the battery. So take the battery out and it comes down to about 50 pounds. It's possible if you use a good hitch rack, is what they say on their website. Overall, my experience with this thing has actually been super fun. It rides smooth, it's comfortable, it looks great, it's got the right vibe for where I live out in San Diego near the beach. And I've had this thing for about six months now. I've been riding it almost every day to get down, check the beach, get like some poke. Constantly charging it, uncharging it. The charge lasts super long, way longer than I need it to do on a daily basis. And with that like 20 to 40 miles range, 40 miles if you're doing the pedal assist, right? For any of you trying to get off the car situation, this thing, these kinds of electric bikes are, are sick. It's so nice just to get out in the world, to get out of the house, get out in the world and ride around. That's why I like this thing. It gets me out of my house. Now, I've actually got a buddy who's got a different bike. One of the things is for sure is getting up the hills on these things is so much nicer than a regular bike. Another thing that's great is just when you don't feel like pedaling, you just got the thumb switch. I think this might be an option on their bikes, but uh, I'm, I'm glad the one I have has it. Yes, brother. I have a need. So what is this? What is this guy? The Rad Power Bikes. This is the Rad Power Bike. Probably the most popular bike from what I hear. Okay. When I tell people I got one, they say, oh, I just picked up the Rad Bike. Okay, got it. I was like, I got the same one. Wow, look at this. This is the reason why I got it. Um, okay. And I think you can get this for other bikes too, but you just take your kids and you just put them right in here. Boom. Boom, just straight in there. Three, yes. Three deep. Okay. Deep. Six months or so. Six months. What's your take on it so far? It's well, you just, you just got like a single speed bike, right? Yeah, and I cruise a single speed bike all around Cause town. more fitness. Fitness. Yep. More fitness, yep. got it. And then with the kids, the only reason you would get this, in my opinion, is kids. Okay. Um, you load kids in. I know people have them without kids too, but you can just load kids in. It's a cruiser. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just like a little beach cruiser. I like cruiser. that, man. The, the only thing with this is it's so heavy. Get, yeah. I have some stairs I carry in and out of it. It's oh, great. I can only imagine lifting yeah. that up and getting downstairs and stuff. This is pretty heavy too. Try lifting this up. 50 pounds without the battery. It's quite a bit lighter than that. It, I mean, that has that whole long tail. Yeah, this has the whole system. Okay, well, let's cruise. It's like a straight up utility hauler. It's a kid mobile. Whoa, it's so much heavier. This thing is like a utility cruiser. It's big, it's really heavy. Definitely, you can imagine getting your Ninos on there. Yes. Super quick, let me see how fast it is. When you kill the power on that thing, yeah. you feel it. it yeah, it just like, it clunks, yeah. But this, like, you could ride it without even the battery. Yeah. No, you totally can. Yeah, this is cool, man. What's, what's the brand again? This is uh, 630. It's set up to be a little more ergonomic, like we would we would make it a lot taller for you. The biggest surprise is how light it is for for what I'm used to. It's plenty fast enough. Gear five is like like you, you can get lazy, you can get a belly and still be a bike rider. You could do one of those tail little bikes. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. Could, you could clamp that onto there, I think. Oh yeah, totally. And then, and then have one just on the seat. On one on the seat, yeah. Yeah. No, that could totally work. Seriously considering swapping this thing out now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just because this thing's so big. My house is right here, and I have little steps I gotta go up. Oh, yeah. And I'm like tugging. Oh, pulling that up steps would be gnarly. Yeah. Okay, dude. All right, man. Be good. Have a good day. You too. You too. Oh, pretty. Pretty street. All right, y'all, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're interested in reviews like these and in talking about things that are a little more meaningful in life than just the stuff that we uh, we get to buy. Remember, your dollar is your vote. Spend your money on things that actually serve you, not on things that are just gonna be lying around like waiting for you to get rid of later on. I think this bike from 630 is actually a pretty good 
good example of that. Made super solid. You got the battery you can recharge forever and ever, and then you can change that out over time. I think it's a really solid workhorse if you're looking for that laid back cruiser kind of vibe. But it's still just such a workhorse, even though it like, you know, it's, <laughs> it seems so California, bro, but it really gets the job done. All right, y'all, see you later.